Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from WordPress Page Builders Academy. In this video, we'll create a basic single blog post template using Rex Builder. I've shown you kind of the essential elements for building out your single blog post template. Um, so let's get started. But before we do, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on uh, using WordPress page builders. So what is the single blog post template? Uh, so quite simply, it's the uniform layout for your individual blog posts. When you're reading a single blog post, uh, the layout that it is wrapped in is a single blog post template. Uh, so in this tutorial, we'll show you how to customize yours um, specifically with Bricks Builder. So accessing Bricks templates, uh, first open Bricks and navigate to the templates section. You'll typically find this in the sidebar menu or toolbar. Click on the add new button to start creating a new template. Okay, uh, the title and template type. Uh, give your template a title that reflects its purpose or content. Then from the template uh, type option, select single. Uh, this indicates that you're creating a template for individual posts or pages. So before diving into editing, you have the choice to either save your template as a draft for further modification or publish it immediately. Uh, choose whichever option suits your workflow. Um, now, entering Bricks Editor, once you've made your selection, click on Edit with Bricks to enter the Bricks Editor interface. This way, the actual design and customization process takes place. Now, let's uh, get to adding sections and elements. Uh, begin by adding a section to your layout. Sections are containers. They're the wireframe for your layout. Inside the section, you can actually add a container before you add elements to it. Um, we actually have a video of uh, Brick Builder's layout hierarchy. Um, so if you want to check it out, just uh, check it out on our channel. Anyway, within the section, uh, add the post title element. You could adjust this width and alignment to fit your design preferences. Now uh, let's go back to elements panel and add the post content element within the section you previously created. The post content is what's going to query uh, the posts, each individual post dynamically. Uh, so without this post content element in your uh, single post template, none of your blog posts will show up. Uh, so this is the most important and the most essential element in your single po blog post template. Okay, if you made it this far and like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up so this video can reach more people, really help us uh, and help this channel grow. Now onto typography and styling. Uh, you can also experiment with different color schemes to match your branding or enhance uh, readability. So find the appearance of your post content by adjusting typography, spacing, and alignment. Now, metadata and author details. So uh, below the post title, anywhere below the post title could be under the post content you want and the author information. Um, ensure that these elements are aligned and spaced appropriately to maintain visual consistency. Um, uh, it's really according to you where you want to put it. Now, um, you should definitely have this um, social sharing element in your template. Uh, it allows um, you to further extend the reach of your content. So because it uh, lets your users and readers easily share your content uh, across multiple social media platforms, uh, just go ahead and choose which social media platforms you want to enable. Now, 
Another element you might want to add is the related posts element. This allows um, your readers to navigate to another post that's uh, related to the current post they are reading. Uh, now, this could be filtered through whatever you want, through uh, similar tags, similar categories, or just uh, similar authors. And um, so you can actually go ahead and play with uh, these numerous options in there to how to set up and refine your related posts uh, uh, element. Okay, now another element that you might want to add, although you're playing with fire is um, the comments element. So if you want to enable comments in your posts, you can add it at the end of your posts. Again, um, yeah. You know, I'm gonna tell you this, if you enable comments, please have spam protection turned on because there will be a lot of spam coming your way. So just know what you're dealing with when you want to add comments in your single blog post template. You can also actually um, filter down the amount of spam you get by allowing only login users to uh, post comments. Uh, you can do that in the conditions uh, uh, tab uh, in the comments element. Uh, so I access the template settings and navigate to the populate content option. Here, choose a single post or page as content type. Select the specific post you want to display in this template, then apply changes. This will show you what it looks like with the sample content. Um, and then once uh, you see what it looks like with the sample content, you can refine it to your liking, adjust the alignment, adjust the design, adjust the look and polish of your template and see how it looks uh, across different devices. If you're fine with everything, it's time to publish it. So before we go, I want to talk more, a little more about uh, the conditional settings with Bricks Builders. So you could actually have multiple uh, single blog post templates uh, and you can set the condition to show one template or one layout for a um, a tag, a certain tag, or a certain category, and another template for another category, or whatever taxonomy that you determine. Uh, so that's a pretty cool feature in Bricks and uh, some of the other page builders. Um, so if you have in mind that you want several different layouts for your single blog post template, uh, that's something you could explore. Um, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful in building your single blog post template with Bricks Builder. Remember, the more you explore and experiment with customization, the more unique and tailored your templates can become. Um, so uh, if you haven't yet, just give us a thumbs up, click the bell and click subscribe so you get more of a content and more of a content can reach more people. Okay, thank you. Bye.